Foreigners who want to buy farmland in Indiana would need to be from friendly countries in a bill that passed unanimously through committee. It comes just after Indiana's two U.S. Senators Mike Braun and Todd Young introduced foreign land ownership legislation at the federal level. Clayton Baumgarth reports. The bill would require any real estate closing for agricultural land to include an affidavit affirming that the purchaser is not from an adversarial country. Examples would be China, Russia, or North Korea as listed by the federal government. Nationally, 40 million acres of our 1.3 billion acres of farmland are owned by foreign countries. Um, Chinese interests, for example, they have 400,000 acres nationwide, but that number is growing at an alarming rate. Many groups, including the Indiana Farm Bureau and the Attorney General's Office, support the bill. The ACLU of Indiana, represented by Executive Director Chris Daly, says it does not over concerns of national origin discrimination. Citizens from all of these countries live lawfully in Indiana. They contribute to our economy and community well-being. Yet, if this bill becomes law, they will be unable to participate as owners in farming in our state. Culp clarified that only citizens of foreign adversarial entities will fall under these rules. The bill also requires the Attorney General to investigate the sale or lease of agricultural land if the acquisition is believed to violate the law. Any land found to be illegally acquired would be forfeited to the state. For Indiana News Desk, I'm Clayton Baumgarth. Indiana was the first state to enact a law limiting foreign land ownership in 2021. Since then, 35 states have proposed similar legislation.